me with these and I wanted to, oh yeah. Here's shine urine after 15 minutes in the centrifuge. As you can see, there was no separation um, of the red cells and so this is a true indication of hemoglobinuria. So here are the x-rays of shine. Um, as you can see, we have some pretty severe hyalur congestion. Um, we've also got a little trick here where we mark the x-ray with a needle. The reason we do so is that typically the spot that we find the most worms is right located right around the carina. And so we will pre-measure with our catheter from a pre-marked spot. And that pre-marked spot is where we tend to try to go in. We mark the skin with a Sharpie so we know about the insertion spot. And we measure it to about the spot of the carina. This will give us some indication when we go in surgically as to where we would expect the worms to be. Here's our boy being pre-medicated with oxygen prior to indu induction. He was pre-medded with Torb for a little sedation, decrease some of the anxiety, and we will be uh, taking him into surgery shortly. So the prep job for the surgery uh, looks as such. As you can see, there's a black Sharpie mark on his neck, and that coincides with the 23 gauge needle that you saw in the x-ray earlier that we took in preparation. Approximately that area is where we'll make our incision into the jugular. Approach, so cable syndrome surgery approach. This is the dog in left lateral recumbency, right jugular vein. There's our little X that we had earlier. Here's his head facing this way, and we're gonna make an incision right over the jugular, um, dissect down to it, and we'll see another video here in a moment. So as you can see, we've exposed down to the jugular vein, very prominent with its distension from the heart. Um, we will dissect this out ligate it proximately with a hemostat temporarily and then make an incision into it uh, to start the procedure. So we have opened up, dissected the jugular out. We have it ligated proximally with a large hemostat and we have two stay sutures placed in the jugular itself. We will be making an incision in the jugular and passing our red rubber catheter, which this is the catheter with a snare device, or we're gonna call it a snare. Essentially has three pieces of suture material this right here is a 10 French uh, with aught monosorb suture material. And you can see it has a little bit of a bottle brush effect. And so the plan is to go down the jugular and we twist. And in doing so, we ensnare the heartworms, which we can then pull out. There we go. All right, so we're twisting. And as we twist back, we pull. And we have heartworms. And likely there will be more. Okay. Now they were in the heart, so I'm hoping we pulled some more out of the heart into the cava because you notice we're twisting it. Mm -hmm. So again, pasta bowl of noodles, everything comes together, right? So mm -hmm. that's the whole plan here. Oh yeah, we got more. Oh yeah. All right, here is Shine about one month after heartworm extraction. As you can see, he has the healing incision on his neck. We're gonna pull stitches today. He is doing fabulous after the horrible bout of acute renal failure from his hemoglobin area. Um, normal creatinine today, normal concentration of urine. Um, has gained actually nine pounds since the procedure. You can see he's uh, gonna be leaning towards a diet pretty soon, uh, but doing extremely well. Uh, we'll be starting his heartworm uh, treatment Definitive treatment uh, very shortly. Shine. Hey, buddy. Hey. Who is it? Hey, buddy. <laughs>